This video will describe the STB Suite SCSI Command Compliance Test. Highlights of the SCSI Command Compliance Test are it is driven by ASCII text files, it has detailed ASCII log file output, example files for legal and illegal commands for disk, tape, and library devices are included, it uses one of the STB Suite scripting tools, Scriptwriter Pro, and the complete source code is included. We'll show how to run Scriptwriter Pro within SCSI Toolbox, open view and edit the source code, and run the compliance test within the toolbox. Also, how to run the standalone Scriptwriter Pro, how to compile the compliance test and run the compiled test. Also, how to view and edit the command descriptor files and how to view and interpret the output log files. The compliance test may be run from within the SCSI toolbox by selecting the Scripts and Sequences, Scriptwriter Pro, Scriptwriter Pro Editor menu choice. This will bring up the Scriptwriter Pro VBA-like IDE. Open the file compliance.bas, which is located in the Program Files, STB, SCSI Toolbox 32, Compliance Script folder. Complete source code for this GUI-based program is included. You may edit or change the code to meet your specifications. Documentation of all Scriptwriter Pro and Developer's Toolbox functions is found in the Program Files, STB, SCSI Toolbox 32 documentation folder. Run the program by pressing the F5 key. Enter the host adapter, target, and LUN for the device to be tested. then the command definition file name and your output file name. Click Start to run the test. Standalone Scriptwriter Pro is a Scriptwriter Pro environment apart from the STB application. It allows you to edit, compile, and run Scriptwriter Pro programs. Click on the Standalone Scriptwriter Pro icon on your desktop. We'll compile the compliance test program and then execute the compiled program. The compliance test is driven by text files which are used to describe the CDBs that you want to issue. These CDBs may be legal or illegal, meaning you can define any byte of any CDB to any value you wish. This is useful for checking how a device responds to correct commands, which it should execute properly, as well as checking that the device fails an illegal command in the proper way. The fields in this file are CDB length, data direction, data length, the CDB bytes, and the name of the CDB. Illegal commands may consist of completely wrong bytes or of reserved bits within a byte. The vertical bar may be used to specify a range of bits to set. For example, this CDB will be issued multiple times with the second byte set to 0, then 1, then 2, through 6. The results of each CDB will be logged. The program writes its result to the text file specified by the user. The log file shows each CDB sent, pass-fail results, and sense data in the case of a check condition. Since the complete source code for the command compliance test is included, you're able to modify or extend the compliance test to meet any custom needs. For technical support, please email support at scuzzytoolbox.com or call 303-972-2072. For sales information, please email sales at scuzzytoolbox.com or call 720-249-2641. Thank you.